Okay, so the sod is off of the hole. Um, and now we need to start the actual digging in the soil process. So when we start this process, we actually start in the middle of the hole and we start using this, uh, this short D-handled long blade shovel. It's called a sharpshooter, also a drain spade. But the nice thing about this is it really digs deep into hard clay soils and it's really all you need to uh, plant a tree. We're just digging out the middle, and you'll notice we have this compacted side. And this gets compacted when the shovel leans back against the edge of that soil. So as we work our way around the hole, we'll work in the middle, and then we start working along the edge of the hole. Okay, so now we have dug out the center of the hole. Notice I've, I've left uh, some, of the, some of the fine topsoil still in here. We'll scoop this out uh, as we get the edge of the hole dug out. Now, when we start digging the edge of the hole, what we do, instead of digging from the outer edge towards the middle, we actually turn our shovel. Now, the reason we turn our shovel and we turn it perpendicular to the edge of the hole is so we actually don't compact that outer edge of the hole. Yeah, so, so here we are right here, the edge of the hole, and notice how this starts crumbling. This is not that smooth, compacted edge. This is a nice, soft edge. This is ready for the tree that we're going to plant, ready for those roots to get out into the surrounding soil, as opposed to right here, where we still have that very smooth, very hard, compacted edge. So uh, we're, we're really almost finished with our hole now. I just need to, to clean out a few more of the crumbs in here. But I uh, want to talk about uh, the depth of the holes that, uh, that you're going to be digging for your fruit tree, and especially with a bare root fruit tree. So oftentimes, these roots are, are fairly shallow. And so we do not want to dig a deep hole for something that has roots that are only eight to ten inches from the crown of from the root crown so we only dig our holes eight to ten inches deep when we're planting bare root trees but what we do is we like to dig our holes wide because we really want to make sure those roots spread out and that tree gets anchored in the other thing that we're doing when we dig the hole is instead of digging a v hole or even a U-shaped hole, we like to make sure we're digging a barrel-shaped hole. The reason we do this, imagine we get a two, three inch, four inch rain, and that water drains into the hole. If it's a V-shaped hole, that hole fills up with water. That water will kill out those young tree roots. If it's a barrel-shaped hole, you have more square footage at the bottom of the hole that's able to absorb that water, and the water travels through the soil, not staying in the soil. So the reason we break these clods up is we want nice, friable soil going back into the hole. We don't want clods of clay and really big lumps going back in. This is going to be nice, friable soil that will just settle right back into the hole. <laughs> 